Hello there, this is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to episode 25 of Burgundian Let's Play series, where today we're going to force Castile into the HRE and pass another reform to, to cement our emperorship, make it so no one else can be the emperor. This is next reform. It, HRE will always be inherited by the same country, and well, that will be us as Burgundy. We're going to go ahead and take care of these Castilian rebels, noble rebels, just because they may pose to be a nuisance to us. We're waiting on the fort all the way down here to go ahead and fall. Got a 49%, Leon is doing a great job over there. And they've actually just succeeded, and they're going to go ahead and destroy that army. Kudos, my men. My fellow vassals. Actually, well, they're my vassals, they're not necessarily my fellows, but... We're going to go ahead and take increase our discipline, but we do need to go ahead and take military tech, because we are behind time, and it is a tactics level, which is very important to us for our quality of troops, because we are known for that at the moment. Income from vassals, institutions, spread what we currently have. Trade efficiency. I do like trade. I do like partake in it. Missionary strength, good produce. Well, this is unity. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Go ahead and get a new admin policy. Is there anything we really care about? Not really. Can't really say there is anything. Military, what do we have? Morale of armies and siege ability. That is very good. Uh, we're going to wait on taking a military, no additional military policy. Maybe. Don't really want any of those. Movement speed and trade efficiency could be good. I don't really want any of those, because we, I think we have 100, yeah, we have 100% religious unity, and we have 13% missionary conversion. So we're doing peachy. Let's go ahead and re get rid of the idea cost reduction, because we don't need it. Don't really need anything, for that matter. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and make our troops a little bit better. Manpower recovery, we're sitting very nice. We 2,000 a month. Could get an additional 200 with this. Oh, and just, I might as well just do that. Extra 200 troops make it makes a big difference in the grand scheme of things. Why don't you guys go stand somewhere where you're not going to suffer attrition, because we already, Toledo looks like a very good spot. And you guys can just lose a little bit. No biggie. You guys are getting fully occupied. Leon is here, so we're actually going to give Leon extra land over here. Have no reason not to. You guys are fully occupied. Wow, that is a 34 development province right there. It's going to be a little expensive for you guys to go, go ahead and core. We'll spend the Diplo points for it. There you go, you guys go ahead and accept that. We take these little islands? No. Okay. That's fine. Oh, wait, no, that's with Castile. We want to wait peace with you guys. Yeah, we'll accept that. That's fine, that goes to Leon. We'll spend 51 Diplo points. Not a big deal. Do have a call for peace against Castile? Oh, and we died. Let's see, we have a 524 air, 455 air with a tech cost reduction. is very nice, honestly. Gonna go ahead and get another royal marriage to Portugal. Keep them nice and happy. It gives us a chance to go ahead and get a PU on them. Now, we're, now that we're necessarily trying to get that, but yeah, you know, it's just one of those things that it would be nice. It's not a key requirement. Castile, why are you not ready for peace? Who are you? Ah, yes, this very small nation off in the distance. Well, we can wait for you guys to go ahead and go to low. We're going to go ahead... No, no, don't have to call for peace, actually, anymore. New consort, 153, not very good. Let's just not ask any questions. And it'll go away someday. It's always the dream. Yeah, yeah you guys go stand there. I'm going to get a roll map for all you guys. No qualms with that. We have lots of Imperial Authority right now. We're going to easily be able to pass the next reform. Alright, go ahead and be a free city. Looks like we have the ability to do so. Anyone else? Saluzo. You would take it. You are a monarchy. Mm. Alright, fair enough. We're going to go ahead and force two more re religions means our Imperial Authority growth is going to be that much higher. Aragon, you said no. Excuse me? Did I just misclick? I may have misclicked. <laughs> Aragon, are you upset with me now that I... Uh... Oh, you're still actually pretty... Oh yeah, Force Release Unity minus 50. It happens. Castile, you have lots of rebels now. It's good. We're going to break your country. I'm gonna force you in and then break you. 
battling with Buffoon. You have fun Naples against Tunis. You're very much going to be elected. That's very good. Not, there's probably only going to be one more election, but eh. Treasure things have happened. Looks like you have an heir. Yeah, alright, well, we're just going to break our royal marriage. Save the Diplo point, cost us one prestige, not a big deal. And if you die, someone from Savoy will take the throne. Alrighty. The Enlightenment, yes. Go ahead and let that begin. Where did that actually spawn? Just out of curiosity. More than anything else. We do want to go ahead and take the Enlightenment so we can do some more culture conversions. It spawned all the way over here, wow. Alright, well, it's quite a distance away. Normally I spawn inside Europe, so it's actually kind of refreshing to see it not in Europe. And why do we currently have growth here? Has a reason. Oh, has a seat in Parliament. And has a university. Very nice. We're going to see that probably pretty quick because we have quite a few seats in Parliament. I don't know if we have that many universities, though, to be honest. Might be slacking on universities. Because, you know, I'm kind of just chilling, you know. You're on an H. We can chill. We're gonna expand the empire. You know, you have negative 96 reasons. Oh, you have conflict of country inside your, your, your region. Doesn't bode well for you guys. We'll take legitimacy. You go, Leon. You're gonna go ahead and deal with that. And for the most part, it's just because your vassals aren't inside. We don't have your vassals occupied. Other than that, you guys are out of commission. We've got a couple heavies. Probably need a couple more, though. Let's go ahead and go to boats. Another 30 heavies? Sure. Now that we can rival the English fleet, but, you know, Spanish fleet can easily be dealt with. Monster will go ahead and pay our way for you. Oh, alright. Got, got some rebels. Does that increase your ability to go to war? Or make peace? No, not, not at all. Makes no difference in your uh, grand scheme of things. Extra naval tradition, we'll take it. That'll go away someday. We're being blockaded. Well, it's not so much our ports are being blockaded. It's more of a... Castile's ports are blockaded. You guys have any heavies left? Yeah, there's 17 out there somewhere. Lots of trade ships. You want white beasts? Sure, get out. Gives an additional 3% war score against the uh, Castilians. The Spaniards. You are on low. Still chilling. Sorry, Castile. Are you fully occupied at this point, too? Almost 20 war exhaustion. Yeah, your country's gonna be ravaged after this. We're just chilling. You guys go ahead and drill here. Might as well get some professionalism while we're here. Now that we're gonna see any rebels inside our countries. Did you guys just convert? Would've been funny if they did. Also a little, like, you know, poke in the face. A neener neener, if, if you will. Aragon, you're, you're kind of close to taking conversion. You're turn provinces. Maybe have already improved relations. Alrighty. It's gonna take a little while. Oh, more Spanish rebels. We'll go ahead and deal with those. And we can go ahead and take military and diplo attack. Well, we will do both. Another taxes level after this, very important for our troops. Gotta make sure they're nice and fresh. We get a uh, new cab, it looks like. Didn't actually pay attention. Letting it left our coalition, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, this war's been going on for so long, the coalition is dissolving. Then, Chuch, you don't have an error. That's fine. These are. Leone, Leonese Separatist in... Oh, actually, the Bernese Separatist inside of Leon. Extra professionalism, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll say no to that. Occupy that province, just get a little extra war score. Not that it really makes a difference. Since we're just kind of waiting for the war to max out, and we can go ahead and make peace. How long has this war been going on? Seventeen sixteen. Been a while, it's been over five years. Let's 
We are getting our heavies back in. Back in. Our new heavies in. Which means we can go and fight the Castilian Navy. Saxony has died. Uh oh. You want another marriage? You have no heir. You're 27. Not super likely to get a personal union, but we'll take it. You guys go to the up. We only have 15 transport ships. We definitely need more transports in our lives. Let's go say hi to the Castilian Navy. <clears throat> Trade protection against Great Britain. Yeah, they're just kind of a thing. They're just being a nuisance. Not that big of a deal. There goes. No, well, you guys managed to get away. This is your trade ships. And we caught them. Goodbye, 14 trade ships. They have been eviscerated. Not give us any additional war score. Now that they are no longer being blockaded. They have negative 2 stab and 20 unrest. Hmm. Looks great. Ah, uh, we're not going to lose mercantilism. Mercantilism is too important for trade. And well, we have no reason to lose it. Let's see, where can we get a ton of score score points? Yeah, over here in Mexico. Danzig left the coalition. Beautiful. Savoy. Alright, you're just doing your thing. I understand. Imperialism against... You knew? Did you not exist beforehand? Ah, right, you're new. Welcome aboard. Or welcome. Not aboard, but you know. To the world. You guys are doing your thing. Aragon's adding land to the Empire. Kudos. Where's the navy at? There it is. Not really suffering any attrition. That's very nice to see. Got five more heavies waiting for us at home. Extra free stab. We'll take it. Probably could have bumped up two stab beforehand just to save a little bit of money. Catch blockade. Only four ships are needed for this blockade. Dying. Catch blockade. Good. There's nothing actually blockade there. Okay. No additional war score for these blockades. Hmm. Makes me question a little bit. Let's go ahead and split. We are suffering a little bit of attrition here. Not the biggest of deals. Let's see, what do you got? Negative 14. Well, at least it's ticking up. Let's split this fleet in half. Blockade over here. Main left coalition. Beautiful. Alright, Castile. What do you got? Negative 14? Just go ahead and send it. You're gonna reject it. Doesn't it's not stab hitting either, so it's not that big of a deal. Lending libraries and clubs. Very nice. Let's see. Still negative 14 reasons. Bands exceed war score. Well, that just isn't really gonna go away. And we're blockading your your vassal. Doesn't give us any additional war score. The only thing that we could do is, you know, go ahead and start landing troop. We don't have enough uh, transport ships. I guess we can build some, though. It's not like they're that expensive. Capped on Diplo points, so we're actually going to go ahead and do some more culture conversions. For that Swiss culture. Oh wow, these things are getting kind of cheap. Oh, we could go for a Diplo policy that reduces this by 20%, but meh, it's fine. I'm going to do Paris this time. Definitely get make sure we get rid of that French culture. We are Burgundian here. There you go, just spent 900 Diplo points. Like it was nothing. Where are you, Castile? Eight of 14 reasons. Don't take military tech. Makes this even further in our favor. I get a 15 reasons now. The steel and military strength is low. Relative strength of the alliance is high. I do want the army tradition. But as professionalism, nah. Not so good. Well, for the naval tradition, might as well. 
Let's see, we do have extra admin points. Nothing really to state. Go on, just bubble this tab. We have the spare points. Decline. Let's get steel. You know what we want. Alrighty, ships. New template. Let's go with 60 cogs, just going to transport our sh troops around. We got some big stacks now. See, that's 2,400 days. It's 1,300. Go there. Build them. Almost got all of our heavies done. Yeah, yeah, it'll go away. I believe it will go away someday. Guy will decide to join coalition against us. Sure, it happens. Life goes on. This new leader. Oh, God, they're not very good. Look, Castile, we're still waiting. We still have heavies, which is concerning. Let's go ahead and just merge the two fleets. It's not giving us war score to be here. Let's go blockade Brazil. Maybe we can do something about that one. Okay, map now we'll take the army tradition. There's no reason not to get take it. Trade dispute. Oh, Castile actually bumped up their stab once, okay. Castilian, Brazilian, oh yeah, we're sinking ships, good. Give us that free war score. Didn't even know your fleet was there. Give it a little bit of it, a little bit more score for blockading here. There we go, you guys go ahead. Ranch out over there. I do believe I split, yeah, I split these fleets. What do we got here? No heavies? Oh, Leon, you're just throwing your fleet in. That's fine. I don't really care for your money, Castile, to be honest. Negative 13 now. Castilian military strength apparently has been on the rise. Don't necessarily agree with that, but sure. There was an army here at one point. A little 11, 11k stack. Negative 13 reasons, okay. Kiev, you can be added to the Empire. You are Protestant since we converted you the last time we fought you. Frankfurt left the coalition, sure. Utrecht, you're... Well, welcome to go ahead and take continue to be influenced, since we're going to go ahead and annex you here soon. Pretty much whenever this war is over. Coalition continues to dissolve. And we have more than 20 transports here, so we might go ahead and just transport our army over. It's a little 56k stack. Maybe making its pilgrimage over. Take half of it already. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll take the innovativeness. We don't really have any unrest, anyways. Oh, forgot about this navy. I'm gonna have transport disabled, disabled. Yeah, just want to make sure. As this guy is going to go ahead and move this entire army once they're in place. Another country newly exists. Beautiful. Go ahead and land here. Isn't it disabled on you guys? I literally just look. Yeah, there we go. Let's look at the wrong one. Don't move. This will be the navy they use. Yeah, there you go. Took half of, half the army over. You guys have fun. Oh, look, you guys are actually accept now. Give me some cash while we're at it. No cash. Got it. All right, well, welcome. You guys come back. You guys don't have to go anywhere anymore.
No one wish to be converted. Let's just go ahead and pass the next perform. Gain 0.53 Imperial Authority each month. Coalition is dissolving. Good. Kudos. Let's go ahead and bring the entire navy together. These guys go there. Not this to you. Come on over. You guys are going to go ahead and protect trade in... Or here. Which we have 10%. We might actually privateer here instead. Probably make us some more money than where we currently are. Utrecht is going to improve relations with you because you're going to get annexed here. Do have spare Evan points? Not going to decide to insult us. I, yeah, but I. That's great and all, but I don't care. Got 100% land, so now we can go ahead and click this button and immediately. It really, it's 10%. No, that's not so nice. I don't think we'll ever click that button, to be honest. Go ahead and pay a couple extra admin points. Go ahead and make sure we're not just wasting them. Apparently we have two open relationship slots. We'll go and rival Russia. Why do we have these open slots? Don't know. We have them. Still have Leon and Utrecht. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well. Just admin points or prestige? We're capped down on prestige. Commonwealth, you are inside the HRE already. Kudos. Welcome. Grants. No reason not to. Utrecht, we can go and send you some money. I think we're already influencing you. Yeah, converge your culture. Yeah. It happens. Oh, hungry died. Give us another one. Yep, yeah, we'll take it. Do have a chance for a PU on you guys. Not that it really makes a difference, though. Verdant. Yeah, sure, we'll go ahead and influence you. We're going to go ahead and get annexed here. And we'll say goodbye to you, Utrecht. Gets us one province closer to owning all the land that we need. Monthly war exhaustion reduction? Sure. Alright, you guys go ahead and merge up. Uh, stand somewhere where you're not going to suffer a ton of attrition. Sure, there. AV, merge up. Go ahead and privateer in the English Channel. See, we were making 56 ducats from trade. 50 ducats in trade. Hmm. What are those military points? <clears throat> that will indeed go away someday. Privateering is 10%, really. I mean, we hurt ourselves a little bit. Making 10 ducats, though, from privateering. Yeah, it's better than uh, protecting trade, so. Yeah, it's fine with me. Capped on Evan points once more. Sure, let's just go ahead and keep just boosting our land a little bit. Little by little. There goes Utrecht, beautiful. And we don't need this army. It can go away. Portugal. Go ahead and cleanse just cleanse or show superiority once more. Could do it. I'm not really interested to go to fight you though. <clears throat> Rather add land back into the empire. We're looking at you, hungry. Though you are my ally. You have no heir. Freelism against Briga. Expand the empire. And Kiev, we're also going to come for you now. <clears throat> Stack is more than capable, just go ahead and just siege down Riga, since we have access all the way. Kiev. I think we'll also put you in the Empire. We'll have to go fight the Commonwealth and Lithuania. They both have really tiny armies, I don't think it matters. We'll expand the Empire. 
Because it's got black effect. <clears throat> Commonwealth, you're gonna get knocked out pretty quick. And pretty easily. Sure, you can have another seat. I don't mind. So next thing, we'll go ahead and influence you. There is internal war, since we are at war with the Lithuania and the Commonwealth. These two wars will be over pretty quick, though. There was an army. Someone's attacking me. Yeah, you know, troops showed up and it was over. Let's go for a discipline. So we are losing 37 ducats. Mostly, our fleet is expensive. Expensive, dang. Let's go ahead and look at some buildings. Yeah, naval force limit. Go and build a couple of those. We'll save us some money. <clears throat> and we're gonna get a big check here from the Commonwealth. That'll help. And we're probably gonna end up having to take a loan. No biggie. Our ships are growing, good. Both ports have ended. Let's go over to Warsaw. Commonwealth, we might end up trying to convert you in this war, potentially. Uh, I don't think it's very likely, though. I think you guys are probably too big. We have Diplot. Uh, we're not going to take Diplotech yet. Commonwealth. Yeah, you're way too big to go and force religion, so. Give us money. Excuse me, give me, give me your money. <laughs> for dispute. No biggie. Piss off the clergy, but it's for money. Or saw, and I believe we took a loan. No, we didn't. I thought. I could have sworn I heard that in the background. Go so take Kiev. This war will be over. Because another Lithuanian. Or Commonwealthy and port. Give us money and war ups. Goodbye. I appreciate your time and money. Coalition is continues to dissolve. Let's wait. You have some rebels. We're gonna go ahead and take over their siege. Cause why not? And we have no debate problem. What do we want to do? Extra sailors, we are out of sailors. I don't think that really makes a difference to us though. Let's go for culture conversion. So we are currently doing that. Remote escape guild. Use church power, no biggie. Admin points, we have surplus. Sides of parliament, no biggie. Who's in legitimacy is no big deal at this point. Ignore corruption, I'll be gone a month. Ignore corruption, that'll be another month, no biggie. I want to give you land. Military support, no, no big deal. And our corruption, there we go. I wish it would start all the way at the top, but it doesn't. Land maintenance modifier, sure. <clears throat> Do it more sieging. You, guys are fine. you can go ahead. Uh, you need to stand somewhere where you can drill. Drill there. Let me guys go ahead. Built this is other nine, nine ships. Go ahead and go all the way over there. Capped on admin points. As we'll go ahead and take admin and diplotech. We're out of time. Hey, Lithuania. Apparently, you don't want peace yet. Can't make it apparently to Riga. Interesting. Kiev, yeah, you probably want peace though. There you go. Seven Imperial Authority for that. Take it. Make way over to Riga, and you guys can go home. And drill. Stand there. Or cost reduction. No, nothing special. Do have spare military points, so we might as well go ahead and do an artillery barrage. Really isn't a reason not to. Just because it speeds up this war. Your authority is back up to 0.53 a month. Pretty good. There are 10 heretics inside the Empire. You guys need help? 
Apple House. You would, you need help. We shall provide it. <clears throat> there you go. Rig has already fallen very quickly. Give us two, probably like five, no, three. Not too bad. There you go. You're part of the Empire. Welcome. Go to Friesland. State. It is already. Perfect. Monster, we want to go ahead and vassalize you, except you are an elector, so it's not so easy. If I could, I would. But not the biggest of deals. Yeah, it'll go away someday. Empire is pretty big. Lakia. Should you take vassalization all the way over there? Uh, not too likely. Do a peerless against you, but not that interested, to be honest. Let's go for fort cost reduction. I don't think that's really going to change anything, though. <clears throat> Is Navara asking to be our friend? No. Ottomans, we might go to war with you just for fun. You have one friend, really? I also have a really big army, apparently. Dang. But that is all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.